let's look at some limits graphically. So first we have the limit as x goes to zero. So because there's not a plus or minus after the zero, that tells us it's a two-sided limit, which means we're gonna approach it from the left and the right side. So we wanna make sure the left-hand limit equals the right-hand limit. If that happens, then the y value we get to from both sides is going to be our answer. If we get to two different numbers, our answer is going to be d and e for this. So we want to go as x approaches 0. So we're going to approach the x value 0 from both the left and the right on the graph. These are all functions, which means we can only hop on on one place. So the one place that the graph is to the right of 0 is over here, and the one place where the graph is to the left of 0 is over here. And we're going to follow in both of them and we're going to approach this x equals zero and figure out what our y value is. So, so both from the right and the left side, we're going to the same number. Our fingers touch. So that tells us right off the bat that the limit does exist. So from the left and the right, the y value looks like it's about maybe 0.5 or one half. It looks like it's not zero or one. It's somewhere in between. All right. So now the next one that we have right below there is the limit as x goes to one and it has a negative after the number. The negative after the number indicates we're coming in on the negative side of the number line. We're coming and we're taking just the left-hand limit. So that means our answer is definitely not D and E. Remember D and E is when our fingers don't meet. We're gonna take a left-hand limit. So we're gonna come into the left of positive one. So here's positive one on the graph and we're just gonna hop in towards the left. So we wanna find somewhere near one towards the left, so maybe like at 0.5, we wanna find where the graph is. It's only right here. And we're gonna approach the x value one and see where the y value is going. So as I follow the graph toward the x value one, my y value is going towards that open circle, which has a y value of one. So one thing we're seeing is open circles don't matter. So we're talking about being near an x value. When x is near one, the y value is getting near the y value one as well. Doesn't matter whether it's an open, closed circle or just part of a regular line. Okay, next one says the limit as x goes to one, but it has a positive after the number, which means it's a right-hand limit. And so we want to figure out what that right-hand limit is. It's definitely not D and E. That only happens on two-sided limits where our fingers don't touch. So we want to approach 1 in the x value, but from the right side. So maybe starting at like 1.5 or 2, we want to hop on where the graph is. So maybe looking at 1.5, something near 1 but on the right. The only place the graph is is right here. And we want to come in, and the y value we're approaching is 1. So I do suggest coming in close to the x value you're interested in. Remember, we wanna be near one. I wouldn't start way out at seven or something and have to follow the graph all the way because it gets confusing. So I wanna be near one, but toward the right. So that's why I started at like 1.5. I wanna find the one and only spot where the graph is because these are functions, which means there's only one y value, only one spot to hop in, and then we get close to one. And now the next one is the limit as x goes to one, and this is two-sided. There's not a plus or minus after the number. So we wanna make sure the left-hand limit equals the right-hand limit. If it doesn't, our answer is D and E. We don't just pick our favorite number. So we might be, already be able to tell because we just did the left-hand limit as x to approach one and the right-hand limit, but I'm gonna approach this like this is its own problem. Um, just for the practice. So I'm gonna come near one, but on the right, and near one, but on the left, in the x value, and figure out where the y value of the graph lies. So the y value is here. I'm gonna follow it in on both sides, approaching x is one, and on both sides, my fingers meet, so my answer is gonna be that number, one. The left-hand limit equals right-hand limit, so the y value we get is gonna be our limit. Continuing over here, we have the limit as x goes to infinity. So x going to infinity, well, the y value is what's down and up. So x value is gonna be based off this x-axis here. So which direction is x going to infinity? It's either the left or the right. Well, we want positive infinity for this one. So we wanna think far out to the right. So far to the right. We wanna figure out what's happening with the y value. 
So I'm going to follow this graph far out to the right. Well, maybe starting at 6, the y value looks at like it's maybe like negative 0.2. This looks like it's negative 0.1. So as we come in, we're coming from like negative 0.3, negative 0.2, negative 0.1. It's getting really close to a y value of, I would say it's getting close to zero. Okay. And the next one over, over here, I'm going to jump to it just because it's a similar concept. It's x going to negative infinity. The negative x values are to the left. So we're going to look on the graph far to the left. And if it's an up arrow where it looks like it's going up without bound, we'll say it's going to positive infinity. If it's a down arrow, we would say the y value is going to negative infinity, or it might just be approaching a number like it was as x went to the right. So looking out to the left of the graph, so starting at like maybe negative 3, the y value looks like it's really small, um, maybe negative, or sorry, positive 0.1, maybe positive 0.05, positive 0.1 or something like that. So getting really close, to maybe 0.01. It's going down and down. It looks like it's approaching zero there too. So these look really small. So maybe 0 0.1, 0 0.05, 0 0.01. It's getting really close to zero, what I would say. If it was an up arrow, like if it looked like this part of the graph, we would say infinity or down arrow would be negative infinity. But instead of going up or down as we go far out to the left, it looks like it's just capping off at zero. That's where it's headed. Right, so continuing down here, we have the limit as x goes to 2 from the left side. So 2 from the negative, we're just going to do a left-hand limit. So right off the bat, my answer is not going to be D and E, because it's not a two-sided limit. So 2 from the left side. So here's 2, and we want to come in just to the left of 2. So maybe at like 1.5, near 2, but not at 2. We want to figure out where the graph is to the left of 2. So I'd say the graph is right here. And I'm going to follow it toward the x value 2 and see where the y value is headed. Well, it is going up and up without bound. So that left-hand limit is going way up to infinity. If we switch gears, we have 2 from the positive side. Positive means we're taking a right-hand limit. So we're going to go towards 2, but hop on to the right. So maybe at like 2.5. So there's no graph up here the right, but it is down here. So I'm going to hop on the one and only place where the graph is and follow it down. And it looks like it's going down without bound. I don't see a spot where it stops. So I'm going to assume it's going down to negative infinity. The next one is limit as x goes to 2. And so this is a two-sided limit. So we want to make sure the left-hand limit equals the right-hand limit. If not, then the answer is just D and E. Well, we might be able to tell because we already did the left and the right-hand limit. I'm going to approach it like a new problem just because we're practicing here. So two from the left side, I'd be hopping up here, and two from the right side, I'd be hopping down here. So falling in from the left side, the graph is going up without bound. Falling in from the right side, the graph is going down without bound. So if my fingers don't meet, I don't get to choose, I like negative infinity more or something like that. My fingers don't meet. The answer is simply D and E. This time the left hand limit does not equal the right hand limit. So the limit is just going to be D and E. It does not exist. There's not a single unified Y value that we approach as we go towards X is two from the left and the right. If we look at the next one, we're looking at X going to four. This is another two sided limit. So I'm going to check does the right hand limit and the left-hand limit meet the LHL equal to the RHL. If it is, that's our answer. So as X approaches four, we're gonna approach from both sides. So from the left, I might hop on at like 3.5. From the right, I might hop on at 4.5. And on both of these, I'm gonna go toward the X value four and see what the Y value is. So as I go toward the X value four, my fingers do meet. So my answer is definitely not D any. I just want to figure out what that answer is. It looks like it's like halfway between zero and negative one. So I would call that maybe negative 0.5. We're almost done here. We have the limit as X goes to 1.5. So we're going to make sure the left hand limit equals the right hand limit. You don't have to write this out every time, but just for practice, um, this is what we're checking. So as X goes to 1.5, so it's not labeled on the graph, I might just pop it in here. So I'm gonna say here is about 1.5. If 
and I'm gonna go from the left and the right. So I might hop on at one on the graph and at two and follow both toward the X value 1.5 and see if my fingers meet and they do. And I would say that Y value there is two. Okay, last one. It's another two-sided limit. Does it have a plus or minus after the number? So I'm checking, does my left-hand limit equal my right-hand limit? If it does, my answer is a number. If it doesn't, my answer is D and E, just like this letter H here. So as X goes to three, I'm gonna hop on to the left and to the right. So maybe 2.5 and 3.5. I'm gonna find where the graph is. Neither side is it above, they're both below. So I'm gonna hop on below here and follow towards the X value three. And are my fingers touching? Yes, so my answer exists. It's not gonna be D and E. That only happens when we get to two different values like we did when we approached X is two. My finger is me and the Y value is negative one. So again, don't be fooled by those open circles. I'm gonna write it again because I don't wanna trick you. Open circles do not matter. Don't let them fool you into thinking a limit doesn't exist does not affect the limit from both sides as you approach x is 3, the y value is negative 1. So that's our answer.